Iman says, if I cut my hand or any part of the body and it starts to bleed, do I have to redo my wudu? And is it prohibited to pray with the stains of blood or pus on my clothes as these are impure? It's an issue of dispute among scholars whether human blood that does not come from the private parts is considered to be pure or impure. So they all agree that blood coming from the private parts is najis. There's no difference of opinion among the majority of scholars on that. They differ if I cut myself and I start to bleed. Some say if it's a lot, then it breaks your wudu and it's nudges. Some say that whether a lot or little, it does not impact your purity nor your wudu. And this is the most authentic opinion. And this is the choice of Imam Bukhari in his Sahih, that human blood is not najis. What is najis is when you slaughter an animal, saying Bismillah Allahu Akbar, and the blood gushes out. The blood gushing out is najis from this animal. And people in some cultures collect this blood and they cook it or they drink it. This is totally prohibited in Islam. And this is why the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, two types of blood were made halal for us from the animal, the liver and the spleen. But running blood is haram. Human blood is halal. Not in the sense that to drink it, that it, it is pure. And this is why Bukhari, may Allah have mercy on his soul, mentioned in his Sahih that Umar ibn Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, when he was stabbed before he died in, his, in the attempt of assassinating him, which succeeded, unfortunately, he prayed while his blood was gushing, coming out from his wounds. And also, Al-Hasan al-Basri, as reported by Imam Bukhari, stated that the Muslims, since the beginning of time of Islam, used to pray in jihad, in their wars, with their clothes filled with blood, either from their wounds or from the disbelievers' wounds. And this did not prevent them from praying, and they did not consider it to be impure. And therefore, blood and pus, which comes out if you uh, have a pimple and uh, you squeeze it and it pops out, this is all pure. It does not impact your purity or your wudu. It is repulsive. It doesn't look good. And it's highly recommended that you wash it. But if you have stains of it on your clothes, your prayer is still legit and valid. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.